little behind schedule according to that sign, isn't it? A lot of controversial stuff today. How's about this one first? It says Netflix briefly tops Disney as the biggest pure media company in the world by market value. You can see with the chart there just narrowly beats it out. Shares of Netflix rose 1.8% Thursday, reaching a market value of 152.6 billion, according to Factset. Disney stock fell 1% and now has a market value of 151.8 billion. That's a monster growth, huh? It says the membership level was 125 million subscribers at the end of its first quarter. It makes me wonder how much longer things like just traditional TV and film and stuff will actually last. I know for a lot of companies and studios, they really like the digital platform because of all the data. They can immediately kind of see like, okay, this guy likes this, they hate that, so they know what to recommend and all that stuff. But speaking of data and stuff, there's actually controversy on YouTube again. I know a lot of people are still having issues with things like getting the feeds and notices for the people that they subscribe to their videos. And this guy asks here, he says, why aren't the videos in my subscription feed in chronological order anymore? And basically this is causing quite a stir and YouTube's actual response here says, just to clarify, we are currently experimenting with how to show content in the subs feed. We find that some viewers are able to more easily find the videos they wanna watch when we order the sub feeds in a personalized order versus showing the most recent video first. So as you can imagine, that's basically making a lot of people even more upset saying, what, you're trying to control what we're gonna see and stuff like that now as well? So I guess that's kind of the negative side with all the immediate data and stuff with online platforms because I guess companies get to choose how to manipulate it, to decide, I guess, what they think you would like as opposed to you kind of having full control over it. At least that's what's the argument right now anyways. And another crazy piece of tech related news with data and stuff as well it says woman says her Amazon device recorded private conversations sent it out to random contacts. So apparently the husband and wife were just having a regular conversation in the house and they have tons of Alexa devices just by the looks of it. And then they just, I guess, randomly got a call from one of their employees and they're telling him disconnect the device because he can hear like everything. It sent, I guess, like an audio recording of what they were talking about. At first they thought they were joking, but then he repeated like saying, nope, you were talking about this, like at the hardwood floor or something like that, I believe. So it says they contacted Amazon about it and it said, they said, our engineers went through your logs and they saw exactly what you told us. They saw exactly what you said happened and we're sorry. He apologized like 15 times in a matter of 30 minutes. And he said, we really appreciate you bringing this to our attention. This is something we need to fix. Man, how would you react over that if all of a sudden you realized your whole conversation was just randomly being sent to someone else? Like even if it's in your contact list and all that. That's kind of crazy, huh? Actually seeing those geese reminds me of the biggest story I read today. It says, video of drone chasing Canada geese in Camel River under investigation. Conservation officers are on the mid-island are investigating the actions of a drone operator after he appears to have used the device to harass wildlife. The 71 second YouTube video posted on May 8th by a user named Dan Fortin shows a drone chasing a flock of Canada geese in Campbell River. Section 27 sub 3 of the Wildlife Act makes it an offense to harass wildlife with a mechanical device and in this case a device would be the drone, said the conservation officer. So I did look at the video and it seems like the guy was flying an FPV drone and I guess the bad thing is he actually specifically kind of labels it in the description here chasing like geese or the birds or whatever. At first it looks like they have all this huge open room to fly their FPVs, do their stunts or whatever but I guess they decided it would be more fun to go after the birds and stuff like that and they even go into the highway it seems like and it's really loud too with the drone you can hear basically throughout the whole video. And they actually did get captured on the actual video itself. So I guess that's kind of bad for them, but I guess it's good for people to identify them. Kind of made me think, cause remember that ludicrous, you must stay away from all animals interim order we had before. I mean, this is my example where if someone is purposely flying it to harass the animal, that's a little different than flying near it. Cause even a lot of you mentioned, a lot of times when I fly near the animals and the geese, they don't even care. So it really depends, I mean, it's no different. If an animal came up to you like really aggressively like that, you'd probably kind of run away and go, oh my goodness as well, right? But if it's really calm and so forth, the animals generally don't care from my experience. But for examples like that, if you're purposely going up to the animal, like trying to closely potentially hit it because you think it's funny and so forth, in that sense, I would say give people like that a fine. 
Like don't punish everybody else for the actions of one. And the other funny thought I had about this was like for a person like me, even though I fly drones and stuff, I never even heard of this until basically it was reported in the media. And this is kind of a more local kind of story because it's actually not too far away from here. It's in the same province. But maybe someone in the FPV community knows this better than me. Maybe this guy's like a famous racer or something. Like even when I looked at it, basically the views it said he had about 89 like for this video. And in general, I can just imagine how much more people viewed it just because of the TV exposure. Like even for the people that don't go into the YouTube. But it made me wonder, 89 views with the help and support of the media showing this, how did you even find this guy in general? I mean, from what I gather, I don't think the guy's a big name in the FPV racing community. I mean, someone else, correct me if I'm wrong. It doesn't seem like the video went viral or anything like that to get people's attention. So how did they specifically fish out this particular video? I'm still wondering. It kind of reminds me of a comment that one of you guys made before, just about things like good drone flyers, drone videos and all that. And you guys mentioned something along the lines of even if a person like me creates, you know, really safe videos, you think they're really lovely to look at, it's basically, it's not going to be pushed into the bigger, I guess, narrative just because I guess like in this case, it's just a lot sexier to show the bad side of it, I guess you can say. And I, I think that's actually a really good example because again, how did you find this really small niche video, I guess, to make that point of saying, oh my God, look, people are using this to quote abuse animals and all that. But I guess one interesting note is despite the news coverage and all that stuff, it doesn't seem like that video or whatever is getting that much traction. So. Could it be many people just assume, okay, it's not a big deal even for the regular general public anymore? Be kind of good if that is the case because just recognize, again, like with anything, with tech, it's a tool and it's going to be the good people and the bad people. We don't need any ridiculous stuff like, say, 30 meters or one kilometer away from animals, whatever. Is it? Walking only, it didn't even bring camera and stuff. Holy smokes. Maybe we'll try. Because right? right. it's the weekend too, right? Yeah down here like this let's see is that just, a just one of them is it nope her <laughs> what is that is that posing <laughs> he's like no i'm exhausted of the drone the head the head's about 27 to 30 so she is hotter than your uh <laughs> <laughs> is that playing or is that <laughs> or is that genuine exhaustion? Look at that. <laughs> I think you picked up the uh, the heat on the on the fur, right? Okay. But underneath is hot. Yeah. Alright, see you guys later.